Hitron modems and routers use LED lights as a communication system to show their current status, internet connection quality, and network activity. Each light has a specific meaning based on its color and behavior. The power light is the most basic indicator. When solid, it shows the modem is receiving power and functioning normally. If it's off, there's a power issue that needs attention. Downstream and upstream lights show data signal status. Flashing green means searching for frequency, solid green indicates locked onto a single frequency, and solid blue means successful channel bonding with multiple frequencies for faster speeds. The status light reflects your connection with your internet service provider. Blinking green means the modem is registering with the ISP, while solid blue indicates a successful stable connection. LAN lights show activity on wired Ethernet connections. Flashing green indicates active data transmission, while solid green or blue means a good connection ready for data. Wireless lights work similarly for Wi-Fi networks. Additional lights you may find include USB for USB connections, separate 2.4G and 5G lights for different Wi-Fi bands, and Mocha lights indicating multimedia over coax connections. Understanding these lights helps you quickly diagnose network issues. Understanding your Hitron modem lights is crucial for troubleshooting connectivity issues. When lights display unexpected colors or patterns, they're telling you something is wrong. Let's examine the most common troubleshooting scenarios you'll encounter with your Hitron modem lights. First scenario, if your downstream or upstream light is stuck on flashing green or solid green, this indicates a network connectivity issue. Contact your ISP immediately as this usually means a network outage. Second scenario, if your status light is stuck on blinking green, check for local outages from your ISP or try power cycling your modem by unplugging it for 30 seconds. Third scenario, if a LAN light isn't turning on, ensure your ethernet cable is firmly inserted and not damaged. A loose or damaged cable is often the culprit. Now let's look at the general troubleshooting steps you should follow for any modem light issues. Here are the essential troubleshooting steps. First, check all power cords and ethernet cables for secure connections. Second, power cycle your modem by unplugging it for 30 seconds, then plugging it back in. Third, if problems persist after these basic steps, contact your internet service provider for further assistance. They can check for network outages and run remote diagnostics. Regular monitoring of your modem lights helps maintain a strong internet connection and allows you to quickly identify and resolve issues before they become major problems.